Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Justin from Movie Homicide and uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. So I figured today would be another taste test video. And today's theme is Friday the 13th for taste test videos. I actually got this pretty interesting um, candy. As you recall, I've had the Michael Myers uh, Sour Slasher uh, knives. They're like orange. It was basically, you go back on my taste test video, there's a whole playlist. And um, it's basically Michael Myers, kind of like this one. It's Jason one and uh, from Halloween 2. And it was little candy orange knives. But yeah, if you want to check that out, it'll be in the playlist. But um, this is a new taste test video. And this one's Friday the 13th, of course. And these are called Sour Cherry Candy Cleavers. And uh, I got this at a horror convention. You know, when I, as you saw in my last video, I was at Crypticon. Really fun time. Met some really cool people. It's always a blast going to Crypticon. But uh, yeah, I digress. Right now, we're going to try Friday the 13th with like Cherry Candy Cleavers. So let's, let's go ahead and cut into this. Yeah, Friday the 13th has always been like the coolest like camp slasher franchise. Second being, in my opinion, the burning, you know, Cropsy, but I mean, Jason, you can't go wrong. He's a con that mask. And you know, he's got the highest kill count of any slasher, so yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I got the trash off here. Go ahead and pop into this. So you see this, this is the uh well, Jason's iconic hockey mask, goalie mask, and uh, there's the back. I don't know if it matters, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and pop into this. So uh, there's the uh, candy cleavers, as they say. It's very, it's the same company that did the, you know, the Michael Myers one I had of the sour slashers. But uh, it's supposed to be taste like cherry, so I'm gonna go ahead and taste one. So uh, there's like, it's adorable. It's like little cleavers. It's like. Hi, Jason. <laughs> I don't know. Little cleave is a little dog. But yeah, so here we go. I'm going to test it. Kind of tastes like Pez. I always thought the last one tastes like Pez, like orange Pez. This tastes like cherry Pez. <sighs> yeah. It's very good. It's like, it's just like cherry Pez. It literally tastes like it. Except it shapes as little cleavers. But yeah, they got a whole bunch of these. These are really good. I wish you guys could try some, but if you guys want, want to see the cleaver in more depth, here you go. There's a good shot of that. Nice little any bee cherry cleaver. But yeah, they're really good. I really I really like this company. This is um it's like the perfect amount of cherry. Not too sour though. But it tastes exactly like the consistency of Pez. But yeah, um, so it says Boston America Corp. But I'm guessing that's the company. And you know, of course, put out by WB, you know, I guess. But yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It literally tastes like ch cherry Pez. Get them on, you know, two more. <laughs> Um, there's one more shot of it. It's really good. Yeah, one more shot of the cleaver. There you go. Oh, that's really good. I actually think I like these better than that. I mean, it's the same company, but I like the, these cherry cleavers better than the Halloween 2 Michael Myers butcher knives. Yeah, there's one shot of the packaging. Really good. I got a little bonus though, since it's Friday the 13th themed. Um, I got these pretty cool comics. Um, they're put out by Avatar Press, but two of them are autographs. And I just, you know, might as well throw it in, extend the video a little bit, show you what I, these cool things. But yeah, I got uh, Friday the 13th Bloodbath. And it's autographed in red marker right there by Brian Polito, creator of Evil Ernie and Lady Death. We only really know for Lady Death anymore. He's from Cops and Comics, but I always found Brian to be a really good writer. But he autographed it right there, the person for me, Red Pin. 
So these are really good uh, reads. So this is uh, the second one. Can't really see it too much. I hope you guys can catch it. It's gold pin, and uh, yeah, it's like another one of the issues. It's like right there by his mask. It's in gold, so I don't know if the lighting will pick it up. So I'm sorry, but hope you guys can see that. It's like where my finger is. It's where his insignia is. But, uh, this is also bloodbath. So I got issue one. There's issue one with all the tools that he, you know, kills his victim with or whatnot. And then this is, this is issue three. So I'm, I guess I'm missing issue two, but yeah, these are very good reads, um, put out by Avatar Press. They're called the New Line Cinema House of Horrors. That's what kind of, that was like, I was like, fry like, I was like, shut up and take my money. I'm glad New Line's doing their caricatures into, you know, you know, you know, New Line Cinema, you know, been around since the first Fri Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, you know, after, you know, Param I think it was Paramount. I'm not sure. I think, I think it's Paramount, like, sold Friday the 13th Night Cinema later down the road. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, I think that's what it is. But, yeah, this is the third one, though. Friday the 13th, Jason versus Jason X. The same artist, same company. I don't know. It's a totally different story, though. That's issue two, though. Like, battling Jason. It's interesting. That's. I would think it would be cool if Michael got like adopted, since like Malik Akkad's like playing around with the idea of a new Halloween project. Um, it seems a little soon, but I think like Halloween. Sh you know, that'd be cool if they put one out by a uh, you know new line, new line got the rest to Halloween. But this is a Friday the Thirteenth theme, so we're sticking on the top. Fly digress. Yeah, here's a show you these real quick. Um, probably call it a video but uh these are my favorite like go-to friday the 13th movies in the franchise so my first is always you know the origin of the hockey mask you know um that would be you know part 3d you know this is one of my favorites this is like my go-to number one and uh, it's fucking cool the classic scene of him sticking the mach uh, machete through the shower curtain and i kind of put a my second favorite would be an underrated one. It's part five, A New Beginning. You know, Tommy Jarvis is, you know, Corey Feldman grew up, grows up, Tommy Jarvis, and he's played by a new guy, and um, he's the guy on this cover here. And some people think he's, like, the next Jason. He's, like, committing these murders around the camp or the rehabilitation camp or where, where Tommy is. And um, it's just a very underrated film. Um, yeah, you think he's doing the killings, but later on you learn all the, all the murders were all because of a chocolate bar. <laughs> and, uh, you know, once you know, this movie really, you know, the, the fact that, I mean, you, you know, you've obviously seen it. So I'm going to jump into some spoiler territory. If you, if you haven't seen it, I would stop the video now, but if you have keep continue, um, you know, it's, it's an imposter Jason, you know, Roy Burns, you know, the paramedic. And this is like, you know, he, it's, it, he's basically killing people because his son right here is special needs and he's just trying to offer a chocolate bar. And this guy's not having it, <laughs> literally. So Roy Burns takes it upon himself to kill these people. And it's like an imposter Jason. It's really cool, you know. I like that concept. You think it's Tommy. A lot of people think it's Tommy doing the killing, but it's really... Roy Burns, Imposter Jason. And I love that David Gordon Green played with that idea in Halloween Ends, an imposter Michael. He was obviously playing homage to this movie. But that's my second favorite, I would say. This is only four, but like, my third favorite, of course, is Tom, this is the, the, the next chapter, you know, after five this is six this is undead jason jason lives um you know this is you know jason lives you know this, this is iconic this is my third favorite friday film um kill or be killed it's just this is just a, a fucking awesome movie you know that fucking i'm pretty sure alice cooper's music is in this movie I'm teenage frankenstein but um this is so cool what is this? I mean, just look at that Jason, like, right there. It's like, 
undead Jason, the first undead Jason. This is when Jason was truly a zombie. Uh, so yeah, my fourth and final favorite in the Friday franchise. I'm just gonna end it here. Is Kane Hodder my personal personal favorite Jason? But yeah, she's awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, this is uh the Carrie versus Jason, but I definitely recommend this if you haven't seen it. It's definitely um. It's J. It's Kane Hodder's debut. After this, they were all pretty much Kane Hodder. But uh, he played Jason the most. But yeah, so I'm gonna end it there. I just want to extend it a little bit. But uh, I just want everyone to know this was my final thoughts on uh, candy cleavers. This is uh, way better than the Michael Myers, you know, Orange Dives or whatever. Same company, but very cool. It's like a little stash container, but. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. This, I'm going to call it a video. My final thoughts is these are really delicious. You all need to try to find these if you can. Grab them because they're very affordable. and They, they taste just like Pez. So I'm going to end it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm halfway to 100. Uh, and yeah, let's let's keep it that way. Let's let's get to that hunt first 100 subs. I It's my goal. So if you guys can help me spread the word of my channel, it really helps me out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.